You're watching Moms Matter at Focus TV Network. And I have Lauren Haas, who is an incredible holistic nutritionist. And she's going to talk to us about how to get your body back after all the food we've been ingesting and ingesting. So welcome to the studio. Thank you. Good to see you again. Always great to see you. I always tell people you are the real deal because every time I talk to you or anytime we're in the kitchen together, everything you do is so intentional. Mm. And I just love what you've created. Thank you. It's incredible. I mean, you are such a talented chef, and you're really getting people healthy every day. So you just wrote this great article for me um, where you talk about your eight wow steps on really recovering and getting your body back. After the holidays or after parties or after, I mean, there's always events for us. There's always right. a time where we want to reset our bodies. Right. How do we do that? Well, we start with not starving ourselves. And that's a huge part of what I do is I really promote healthy eating and not starvation. And I always say that when we're on a diet, we're dying of hunger. So we break our diet, right? That's right. We're starving and we're dying. So for me, what I really do is I start off with teaching people how to eat and what to eat. And everybody's body is difficult, is like different, right? And it's difficult to figure out, well, what do I eat? How do I eat? How do I make it? And there's all these different things now on the internet that we see every day, magazines and television clips about like, eat this, it'll make you lose weight, eat that, it'll make you lose weight, fat is good, fat is bad. And what I really do is debunk all the myths with my clients mm. and my, one of my mantras is if it comes from the earth, it is good for you, right? So, so no processed foods, really. No processed food, but all of a sudden we become so fruit phobic, which is like, no, I don't eat fruit. I'm like, why don't you eat fruit? It's full of antioxidants. But it's so true because fruit has sugar and you shouldn't eat fruit because it's not good for you because that's a fad. Right. So it's really about like debunking it. And, you know, it is the New Year's and 80% of people that follow or say they're going to stop doing this or they're going to lose 20 pounds. By February, the gyms are empty. And, you know, I was, I've been in the, I go to the gym regularly and it's it's like kind of funny for me to watch True. how like I get there and there's no machines available. And then by end of January, yeah. February, <laughs> it's like not empty, but it's like the usual suspects are back and all those other people leave. So right now, you know, it is a time instead of making New Year's resolutions, it's about, well, what can I do better this year? How can I better myself? And I wrote this article for you and there's a whole bunch of different things that we can do um, to feel good. And, you know, I am really about being re- realistic in my approach. So, for example, um, I had mentioned in the article that, you know, we do your best to eat organic, mm-hmm. right? We can't, it's very difficult to be 100% organic. All right. So you buy some mustard. That's not organic. <laughs> like, and it's all good. It's, you're fine. You're not all of a sudden going to have all these health issues because you bought unorganic mustard. It's okay. If you like Grey Poupon you can have it, you know, <laughs> you know, it's like, but you make it so that it's doable so that we right. can achieve the goals that we set out to achieve because you're saying that it's okay. Everything doesn't need to be done exactly a certain way. Right. And we don't want to make our life so, you know, we don't want to surround our entire life with like health where the, to the point where we can't get other things done. Right. You know, and I see people slaving away in the gym for hours and hours and hours. And I'm like, do you really have, what is it missing from your life? Right. I see people who are so neurotic about their diets and it's what is missing from your life where you feel like you need to control every single thing that goes into your body. So, for example, um, you and I, we've talked about like doing the whole celery juice thing. Right. Right. Love the medical medium. Very interesting. He's an interesting human being. So I was like, look, I'm going to try doing the celery juice thing. So the other day I I was like it was a Saturday night and I was in my fridge and I was kind of looking around. I know I'm like, ah, I'm like a little low on celery. And I forgot to go, you know, I use Instacart, right? I like, yeah. don't go to the grocery Eat. store. I just Instacart everything. And I forgot to do an Instacart for early in the morning. And when I got up, I realized that, oh, instead of 12 ounces of celery juice, I get eight. And Were it you was okay with like, that? yeah, whatever. <laughs> At least I got something in me, you know? It's like, you can, str- I mean, you're supposed to only do celery. But like, if I had to stretch it with a cucumber and I had a cucumber, I would have stretched it with and a cucumber. Been, and I, but I love that about you, that everything doesn't have to be done exactly as it is. And you're not going to have a nervous breakdown no. if you don't have your 16 ounces. It's fine. It's okay. The world's not going to come to an yes. end. Yes. And, but I can also say that from a place where I used to be like that. 
And I get so many clients that come in and they're like, well, oh my God, if I don't get my six ounces of protein, I'm like, if you don't get your six ounces of protein, three hours later, go to the market and eat that extra two if you only had four for lunch. It's okay. It's okay. Right. So that is, you know, really it's about being realistic. Um, and now with Wild Organic Wellness, you know, my brand went from host holistic, holistic but realistic to wild organic wellness and finding your wild and your wild is really just your soul and it's mm. it's that part of you that if you don't feed it properly it's it's sad it's crying and i always picture like a human being sitting there with their like you know bowl of steamed broccoli and like a chicken breast which is the most miserable meal <laughs> right? and they're like mustard because like god forbid they put something else on there or some salt they're gonna die so you know and they're like they're like well this is what i have to eat to lose weight and like their little soul inside of them is like this is horrible. <laughs> so sad this is so sad and it lasts for what two weeks and then they're like eating pizza and french fries and hot dogs and i'm like now you're bombarding your poor little soul who's already crying right like why are you giving me this horrible chicken breast with pizza and french fries and the wrong food right so it's really like nurturing your soul with food and that's what i do mm. and that's my modality food is my healing tool um and this has been years of myself having so many health issues which we've talked about yes um and really like getting like d like digging deep into the trenches of myself and being a foodie but also having you know having really fought with food for so many years and saying like why am i fighting the thing that i love that one thing that like really nurtures my soul Right. So you've found now this avenue where you're really changing people's lives. You're not telling them what to eat for a week so that they can fit into a dress for a party. You're right. telling them, hey, feed your soul, get your wild, right. live, live, and find out what's really going on deep inside. So you're really repairing their life, like mentally, spiritually, and then with food. You're, it's incredible. And it's fun because people come in just thinking I'm a holistic nutritionist. And, you know, like, and I, like, secretly kind of get into their soul. And um, I remember, like, I have this great client. She's young. And around, like, session number six, she started that wild, started to come out. And we were talking, and she goes, I think I want to get a dog because I feel like if I, I've been taking care of myself and if I also have something else to take care of, I'm going to start walking more and exercising more because I want to take care of the dog. Mm -hmm. I was like, that's cool. And she goes, and I think I want to name the dog, and I go, Poppy. She goes, how'd you know? And I was like, I don't know. Just one of those things that kind of came. And it was like wow. a really interesting like moment where we just had this like cute little soul connection, and she's like, and I was like, ah, sometimes things like that happen. That's very cool. So, very um, cool. Yeah. I love great. it. I love that you're living your best self and that you're doing your purpose and you're mm -hmm. living with intent. You're doing all the things that you should be doing, which is incredible. Thank you. Love it, love it, love it. And um, we're going to get you back next time. And we're going to talk about your cleanse and what you're doing through your cleanse to really help people live their best life. Cool. So you saw Lauren Haas right here on Focus TV Network. And you can check out her article on LA Mom Magazine and find out about the eight wow steps to living healthier better and that's about it guys we'll see you next time